Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Equally Librium by Sabine Haffercorn. I hope I've pronounced all of that right, or at least close. I'll shoot for close. So I was nosing around some different sources uh, for tangles. And um, I usually just look for something that just strikes me. Um, and this one did. <laughs> it's so neat. All right, here's how it goes. Starting off with a, a straight line. And this could be a, you know, actually I'm going to, well, you know what? I have a thought. I'm, I'm going to test it out later. So a straight line. We're just going to go with that. And then from the top of that straight line, we're going to do a curvy line. So curving to and fro. However you want it to go. Uh, and it rhymes. Okay. Around that straight line. Then some curved lines right at these intersections. So, of course, not the first one, but the second one. And working to intersect, you know, right about where that is. I, mine are not necessarily straight. Well, they're curved lines anyway, but... Maybe bring them out a little bit further. No, not too bad. Okay, then, so on the opposite side of where that, that second step, that curve line is, we're going to just put an orb and flip-flop those sides, so alternating. All right. And then on, so where, on the side that you put the, the orb, here, we're going to go on the opposite end, so all the way to the end, like so. And same thing, just alternating. <laughs> it just looks really neat. Then play. So, uh, one, you know, you, if you wanted to leave it like this, of course you could. I am picturing all kinds of other ideas on playing, but let me just share just... Let's do just one for right now. And that is, we'll just color in these orbs. Now, one thought, if you want to leave that shine, I did this in, in my step out. I put a little, a littler orb, wherever you want that shine to be. And I'll put that little orb in and then fill in around it. And if you make it a little bigger than you think, then you can always make it smaller. But I found that that works really, really nicely. Oh my God, I just, I just moved that right over. Um, whether or not you have a, uh, a white gel pen, it's just a nice way to do it. And just don't swipe over it like I just did because my computer made a noise and I reacted. <laughs> but then you can go back with a white gel pen and an ad. And what's nice about filling in the orbs is it makes this really neat um, contrast. And it's just really cool having, having lines and then just these little orbs hanging out. All right, <clears throat> so that is one way. I did want to share uh, a couple ways to play. And so same first two steps. Um, and, well, let's see, I'm going to grab, okay, I've got it handy. All right, perfect. I'm going to do one on each. Okay, so here's another one because it's like, oh, well, I, you know, I'll, I'm good at blathering on. It's like, oh, well, I don't want to make it too long of a video because it is a quickie, but at the same time, we'll just do some, a uh, little bit of exploration. I'm going to make this one, I had this kind of going out far, but so here's another thought. You could have your um, your curve lines going in. Um, let's just do. I'm going to do the first one, kind of like I did. Then I'm going to do the second one going down, and like that. So they're kind of alternated. I, I, well, now if I if I had done this one opposite, then I probably would have had. Yeah, I would have had two pairs like this. And it, it's one of those. It doesn't matter. 
and then we can do you know do well let's see we, we don't have to do the orbs the same either we can you can have whatever fun you might want to have with them i think it's kind of neat having them on opposite sides like that and it's it's kind of a you know so if we're playing with the idea of equilibrium um you know in balancing or, or something like that it is kind of neat to do it this way And you know what I'm thinking? It's like, nope, do all the orbs, you know, on the side and then do the other because I was just finding myself getting a little lost and thinking, oh, did I do this one already? Did I not do that? Follow the steps, Heather. <laughs> Trust the process. And you know what's nice about also filling in the orbs? If your orbs aren't uh, as so great sometimes like mine a lot of times aren't um, filling them in makes it so you can touch them up okay so that's fun and I have let's see so that's there's two ideas right there let me move them out of the way all right then straight line curvy line again this one I'm kind of elongating it a little bit more it, it, you know and it's just to play with it type of thing this one how about let's just uh kind of go a little bit crazy and you know have them going any which way like so and then we can follow that the same pattern let's just do those first orbs first and then yeah on the opposite side for a minute, I was thinking, oh, no, they're going to collide. Nope, they're not, because we're doing them on alternate sides. Now, this, let's see. Yeah, this one, I, there, uh, do I want to try it on this one? Let's just, let's just see. Maybe. Because I have the, another idea for decorating that I just thought of as I'm doing the video. And I'm like, oh, so I'm not going to end up putting it, obviously, on my step out, because that's already done. Because there's so many ways that one can play and we'll do it on this one and then the last one I have another idea because I want to try something I want to try and you know what what the heck why not try it I mean this is well I'm not live on YouTube but it's close enough because I don't uh, generally don't do any retakes oh so neat but here's something else why not put some fine straight lines on either side <laughs> you know and then two <laughs> wait let me just finish this and then let me look because uh, you could also have fun making them curve lines and and sort of auraing in oh that looks rather neat and then um, if you're enjoying this, I and you've not joined me for a Tangle Time, uh, which are uh, their li live free online class uh, sessions that I do, um, and my mom joins in. We have if you if you're enjoying this, you have to, and you haven't joined us, you have to come and join us if if you're available during the times that we are because this is the fun that we have. Oh, look at that! Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, then the last thing I wanted to give a try, and it might maybe it won't. Maybe it won't work. So here's what I'm thinking. Does this line have to be straight? This is like, this is almost like tangle analysis. Tangle, tang, no, that, let's see. Tangle analysis? <laughs> this is hard to say. Hmm. No, I'm going to think, you, you really do need to have this, this straight line here. We'll leave it at three. Because I was thinking, oh, you could do it curvy. But you know what? If your line isn't perfectly straight, obviously it is not going to matter. And then, too, you could have fun with um, these orbs and do them in color. And that, that was going to be the last thing I'd do with it if I do a curvy line. But, nah, that's okay. Um, but, you can yeah, you can have fun with color. Just have all kinds of fun with this. It looks neat. You can have multiples. You, you know, have it go. Um, I guess that's what I was thinking is along a string line. Okay, so, all right. Let's pretend for a moment. This is a part of a bigger thing and yeah okay and so 
let's say you have a string that line that kind of goes like this. All right, so there we have it. I could have just done it in pen, couldn't I? <laughs> but no, I, we're going with the whole scenario. So this is this is say part of your string line, part of a border maybe. All right, and then it was like, oh, I think I'm going to do this equilibrium tangle on this because I think it looked really cool. And then, let's <laughs> just see. Yeah, I think it has to be semi-straight. We'll say that. So that way you have that contrast that, you know, this is the base structure and then you have that. And then, I do like, like them being a little bit wonky. So, you know, you could have different different sizes of these however you want right okay <clears throat> and then this is this is what I was thinking to do all right so let's do and I think I'll just go ahead and fill some of them in how many colors do I want to use I don't know I'm just grabbing what's handy Sure. Where, did the, where did the rest of them go? And, um, oh yes, let's do that. Um, and I want to thank y'all for coming and having fun with me. <laughs> you just never, well, okay, that was interesting. I'm just getting all carried away here. And, oh, why not? I'm running out of, I have them all in my hand. Because I'm trying not to take too long. Um, oh, let's see. I have a couple other colors of green. I don't have a purple on here yet, though, do I? Hmm, no, I don't. There, there it is. <laughs> oh, and that's just perfect. All right. So then, hmm, how to flip that around? I don't know. Let's just put uh, coordinating colors here on the other side, or at least um, what I think is a coordinating color. Well, well, let's see what the video itself looks like. Um, sometimes this camera, the colors don't, they don't get the justice shown to them. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and save that for last. Oh, well, no, that's not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. You know, sometimes when you, you have just this, uh, when you don't, not planning, which not planning is good. And then at the same time, it's like, it really doesn't matter, Heather. But we'll do this. We'll get the red on here. I didn't want to have the same color on the, you know, same line. Oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> okay. How fun is that, right? Ooh, gonna have to add that to the the Christmas, um, cause that could look I don't know, it could look very festive just depending on the on the type of lights that you fit in there and what occasion that you have it there for. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for playing with me. <laughs> and um, oh, the light is actually acting really weird. Okay, uh, but again, thanks thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. If you enjoyed this, would love to have a thumbs up and, uh, you know, feel free to share it with your friends that like to, like to tangle this. I mean, it, sometimes you look at something and you go, oh, that's kind of interesting. And then you, it's like, then you play with it and you're like, oh my gosh, that's just awesome. And I love that about Zentangle. 
and um, and tangles like this that you know just a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be so honored if you uh, uh, subscribe. I do post daily, so uh, make sure if you don't like things popping up on your phone, make sure to uh, adjust the notifications uh, as you see fit. And also in the description section, I will have uh, links to uh, my step out as well as um, uh, to uh, Sabine's step out. And below that, ways to connect with me. So again, if you enjoyed this and you want to have fun playing with Tangles, would love to have you join me for uh, for any of my sessions. I do a free weekly session. I do it two times, you know, uh, on Thursdays. And we do the same Tangle, and a lot and we have a lot of people that come both times because they would just want to play with it a little bit differently, and we just have so much fun. Um, and then I do some other ones, but you can uh, you know see that uh, on my web on my website, and uh, would love to have you. So with that, again, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for playing, and <laughs> uh, happy tangling.